In April, we did two quilt shows, the Chicago International Quilt Festival and Paducah Quilt Week. Spending some time with quilts seemed like a good idea since it was so cold and snowy in the upper Midwest this spring, and we loved to see our authors again. Patience, Marie, and Arlene all had their newest titles for the Chicago Quilt Show. Patients who had been at Chicago International Quilt Festival before had lots of her fans return. Marie and Arlene both were there for the first time, were able to introduce their books, the newest ones, as well as the whole series. On Sunday, we packed up, and on Monday morning, we were driving down to Paducah, Kentucky. 60. By Wednesday morning, we were all set up and ready for Marie Boswick, Patience Griffin, and Arlene Sacitano to sign their books. Just in time, Blame It on Scotland, and Quilts Make a Family are the newest titles. Their fans were ready and waiting on Wednesday morning to get their books signed, especially the newest titles. The guys watched from a safe distance as the fans descended on the authors and browsed through the many books in the booth. Patience saw a fan she couldn't help giving a hug to. Friends stopped by too. Helen Smith Stone showed me the picture of her quilt that was in the AQS calendar. Well-known quilting sisters, Sue Nichols and Pat Holly stopped by. Sue proudly told me that Pat had won the best of show. Pat's beautiful applique had been inspired by a trip to Turkey. It's called Turkish Treasures. Quilters flocked around her as she told about her wonderful quilt. The quilters outdid themselves this year and produced so many fantastic quilts, many of them with the most beautiful pictorial designs. The applique work on these pictorial quilts was just it's outstanding. The detail, the expert applique techniques that were used made them a visual delight. The techniques in the subject matter of the quilts at this AQS quilt show provided a very interesting variety in which you could enjoy the traditional as well as the very modern quilt designs that were produced by these expert quilters. You could spend days wandering through this quilt show and you were lucky enough often to run upon some of the stars of the show who told you about their quilts. There was such a diverse number of floral quilts with beautiful flowers on them all the way from modern designs to the more traditional designs which reminded me that it was spring and the beautiful colors that one sees in spring. I got back from my wanderings in time to see Laura Patrick who stopped by our booth. We stayed at a bed and breakfast with Joyce. Here she is and some of her other quilt friends who had come to the Paducah Quilt Show. The last day of the quilt show brings a lot of interesting people not only just to meet the authors but also to buy coloring books for themselves and their grandchildren. Joyce was able to get away from her bed and breakfast and stop by to meet Patience Griffin, who knew a lot about Scotland, where Joyce was about to go. At the end on Saturday, it's pack up. Thank goodness Jack Sachetano came and helped us, and so did Arlene. We got everything done, including goodbye hugs all around. On Sunday morning, it was time to leave. It was raining as we left our bed and breakfast and headed out across the Ohio River to Illinois and down the road toward Chicago and finally, of course, Bemidji. After two weeks away, the snow had mostly melted and we expected rain soon in Bemidji. The summer has flown by and we hope to see you at Houston International Quilt Festival, November 7th through 11th. Authors Sandra Dallas, Marie Bostwick, Arlene Sagittano, and Patience Griffin will all be there signing their books at the Meet the Authors in the Craftsman's Touch Book Booth, number 422.